Hi, I've got two questions for you today. The first one is, do you want to make audio plugins using highs, sample libraries and effects? And the second one is, would you like to learn how to write high scripts so that you can add cool features and functionality to your plugins? If you answered yes to both of those, then stick around because this video is definitely for you and I think you're going to find it interesting. If you answered no, or this just isn't your kind of thing, then feel free to skip this one. You probably have better things to do than listening to me ramble on. I'm David Healy and I make sample libraries and audio plugins and teach other people how to do it as well. Now when I first started learning scripting there weren't a lot of resources available to learn from. So I sort of pieced it together myself from documentation, looking at other people's code, asking questions on the forum and that kind of thing. And I just had to basically kind of figure it out as I went along. If I was working on a project and I wanted a particular feature I had to just figure out how to make that feature work. Because I was learning it in this sort of piecemeal fashion, it was a real struggle and it took me far longer than it should have done. It was taking me months just to get sort of basic stuff down and it took me a year or two to get to a kind of professional level. And it isn't because scripting is particularly hard to do or complicated, it's actually fairly straightforward, especially high scripting. The high scripting language is a really easy one to grasp, I think. But it's it was difficult because I didn't have a structured path. I didn't have anyone to say, this is where you want to start and you want to follow these building blocks so that you have a toolkit from which you can then build your project. I didn't have any of that. And therefore it was really difficult. So what I've done for high scripting is I've created a high scripting beginners course. It's called the High Scripting Foundations. And that's basically what I want to tell you about in this video. It's just a clear path and structure that I wish I had when I first started. It shows you what to learn and in what order so you're not second guessing things and you're not going down blind alleys and wasting your time. I've been doing this since about 2010 and in that time I've taught hundreds of developers and musicians how to take their ideas and turn them into working plugins. And many of these have been commercial plugins that have been released and you've probably seen some of them or used some of them, but also a lot of them are just hobbyists making things for their own use or for other people that they're working with. And some people just do it for the fun of the exercise of programming and creating a finished product. But at all levels, from hobbyists up to professional developers, I've seen the same roadblocks come up that prevent people from moving ahead with what they want to do or just stop them getting started in the first place. So things like the documentation can be quite confusing. If you go to the highest documentation to look at how to write scripts, you're probably going to get overwhelmed quite quickly because the documentation is a reference. It's not there to teach you how to write a script. It's there for you to refer to once you already know how to write scripts and you just want to look up particular bits of information. Another common problem is the same thing I struggled with that I mentioned earlier, which is if you don't have a clear structured path, then you're just sort of putting bits together by yourself. You end up picking up bad habits that you then have to sort of unlearn later on when you get a bit more experience. And overall, it just takes you a lot longer to get to where you want to be. A lot of people will use code snippets or examples that they find on the forum and incorporate them into their projects. And this can be really useful. And I do this uh, uh, currently now, if I find a bit of code that I think is useful, I stick it in. But one of the problems is when you are new to this sort of thing, you'll use some code and it might not work or it won't do exactly what you need it to do. And this just can be difficult to deal with because you don't know how to fix the code or how to change it to get the behavior that you want. And then you've just got to find the original author and see if they'll fix it for you, or you've got to hire a scripter. So it, it just becomes a bit tricky and it's not a pleasant experience. Nowadays, a lot of people are turning to AI and vibe coding to try to replace the need to actually learn coding themselves. And this can be really frustrating because it's a bit like using code snippets or examples that you find online. Uh, they don't often work or at least not the way you expect and anything beyond a really simple line of script from an AI is going to need some human intervention to make sure it's a good quality code and actually does what you want it to do. All of these roadblocks are easy to get past once you have the right structure to follow. You need a clear logical path that shows you what to learn and in what order. And that's what I'm trying to give you with the High Scripting Foundations course. So the course is going to help you understand what code is doing. So we're not just going to be blindly copying and pasting examples. You're not just going to take what I show you and use it on its own. No, you're going to learn the principles and understand how it does what it does and why it does what it does and how you can change it to get it to do what you want it to do. 
because that's really the whole point of scripting is to get custom, unique behavior, something that you can't get anywhere else. I think an important part of learning to code is coding. You've just got to write lots of code. So we're going to learn by doing. And I've peppered the course with examples and quizzes and cheat sheets and all these little things to help you start writing code. And we're also going to build four projects together during the course. So you're going to get lots of hands-on experience writing code, making projects and seeing it in action. And maybe you'll run into some mistakes and fix bugs and that kind of thing as well. All of that is going to really help you uh, learn and become a great scripter. Because we're building a solid foundation, following a structured path and layering things logically from simple concepts to more advanced ideas, you're going to have a lot of confidence at the end of the course to be able to go off on your own, learn more stuff if you want to, go deeper into scripting and write your own scripts and create your own projects. The course is divided into five learning modules, plus we have the projects that we build between the modules using the stuff we've learned at each stage. Module one is all about getting familiar with the high scripting environment and getting the basics down. So we'll look at the high script editor itself and uh, work through some examples. We'll see how to store data and interact with text and numbers, and also how to respond to input from the user. So if they're changing controls on the user interface, we'll be able to react to that inside our scripts. Module two is about script management and making our code a bit neater and more organized by grouping related tasks into reusable blocks. We'll also see how to add rules to our scripts so that it can do some decision making and branch off depending on the input that it's given. And I'll show you how we can check if values are true or false and compare different values to each other. Module three is all about reducing repetition. Module three is all about reducing repetition. So if we have to do a certain task multiple times, instead of having to rewrite that code again and again, I'm going to show you techniques for just telling the script itself to repeat the same task. And this is one of the things that is a sign of a good scripter, is one who writes less code. Because the fewer lines of code you have to deal with, the less chance there is of a bug being introduced, the less maintenance you have to uh, do to upkeep the code in the future. And it's just going to be faster to write it because you're writing less code. Module four is about managing complex data in different ways. So I'm going to show you techniques for grouping data by like category or class. And then I'll also show you how we can search for specific values within this storage system we've created so that we can use that data elsewhere in our scripts. In module five, I'm going to show you how we can react to MIDI input. So that's data coming from either a DAW or hardware like a MIDI keyboard. I'll also show you how we can control Heise's modulators through scripting so we can tweak uh, like ADSRs and effects and other things in the module tree from our scripts. And we'll reuse some techniques from previous modules to control multiple modulators at the same time. If you've never written any code before and you're maybe wondering if you even can learn to write code, the answer is yes, you can. It's a skill and you don't need any previous experience. I'm going to show you everything from the ground up. And that's the whole point of laying this foundation. It's so you can learn it in the right way and in an easy way. So we're just going to build things up gradually, one step at a time. Now, if you do already have some programming experience with other platforms or other languages, you're going to see how you can transfer your existing skills to highs. This same structured path is going to show you all the same stuff, uh, but how it applies directly in highs. So you'll be able to get up to speed much more quickly. Because we're laying this foundation in computer programming, a lot of the stuff that we're learning, although it's going to be specific to highs, is general and applies to all programming languages. So that means in 10 years from now or 20 years from now, it's still going to be relevant and it's still going to work in future versions of highs. If we switch to quantum computers, then things might be a bit different, but assuming we're still using the same kind of computers we are today, then uh, yeah, this all this stuff is still going to be good right up to whatever version of highs we ever get to. Now, if you find yourself running into difficulties or you get a bit stuck as you're progressing, you're not going to be just left on your own. There is always going to be somebody around to provide support. So you can post questions in the course Q&A area. You can comment on specific lessons if your query is related to a specific lesson. You can email me directly if you want to. There's also our Audio Dev School Discord community, which you'll receive an invite for and you should come and join us there. And of course, there's the Highs Forum, which is definitely a place you should sign up for if you're seriously getting into high scripting. So there'll always be somebody around, you're not alone, 
uh, just come and join our community, reach out, and we're going to help you along and give you all the guidance you need. These days, a lot of people are wondering if it's still worth learning to script when we have AI tools like ChatGPT that can write code for us. Now, my answer to this is obviously yes, it's definitely worth learning to script. AI is a great tool, but it needs the guidance of a human in order to be able to output good and reliable results. And in order for you to be able to give it that guidance, you need to understand scripting. If you've ever used AI to generate some code and tried it out, you probably ran into issues fairly quickly. And if you didn't know how to fix them, then you just end up frustrated trying to tell the AI that this isn't working, this is the error I'm getting. And you just end up in a cycle of things getting more complicated, more out of control. And it's, it's just chaos and just a mess. So you definitely need a, a good scripting foundation in order to be able to guide the AI. Now, the time to bring AI into your workflow is once you have that foundation, and then it becomes a useful tool that will speed up your workflow and make things easier for you, rather than you using it as a crutch to fall back on. So to support you with this, what I've done is I've put together an AI-assisted scripting workshop, specifically for high scripting. The workshop consists of four modules, and it's going to provide you with frameworks and techniques that you can use with tools like ChatGPT and Claude, to be able to get reliable and consistent results that you can actually use practically in highs without all the frustration and all the trial and error and all that horrible stuff that goes along with it. Now the AI workshop is going to be released as a separate course, but if you enroll in the High Scripting Foundations before December 17th, then I'm throwing in the AI workshop as a free bonus. But you've got to get in before December 17th because after that the bundle offer is going to go away completely and then both courses will just be available as separate products. So click the link below this video to enroll in High Scripting Foundations, and I look forward to seeing you inside. Okay, that's all for this one. Bye for now.